Helene Nakimuri is a woman member of parliament representing Kalangala district, which comprises of over 80 islands. Nakimuri is a member of the National Unity Platform, the leading opposition party in the parliament of Uganda. Next Friday, Nakimuri will mark her first anniversary as a legislator elected to represent the islanders. During her campaigns, Nakimuri was fully aware of her role as a member of parliament as stipulated in the constitution and promised to meet her electoral expectations. I thought it was best for me to fight for the health sector first, for our people to be healthy such that they can be able to work and improve on the welfare of their families and themselves. Uh, so we, I, I talked about, on the floor of parliament, I talked about the issue of an ambulance. Most of our people in the islands cannot access medical care or medical assistance because the health centers are very, very far from them. Kalangala is endowed with natural resources like a forest, but the level of deforestation is worrying, and she thought to attack this area as a way of promoting tourism. I am working on the health issues, education, tourism, and then the fisheries uh, department. I know uh, what, what moves us in Kalangala. Everything rotates around the lake. Everything rotates around fishing. Though Nachimuri claims she has tried her role as a legislator, the actual job is challenging as she now finds herself having to meet the personal demands of her voters. Uh, honestly speaking, most of our electorates think a member of parliament should go for barriers, a member of parliament should uh, look for money and contribute to their weddings, a member of parliament should be able to look after their kids, take them to school, a member of parliament should be able to construct a road. If I go to meet my voters, you may tell them very good projects, very good ideas, but they always tell you that our coming here is not on the ideas you are giving us. It's about what you are going to give us in cash. All tangible. They tell you, please, honorable, I am the one who was with you during good and bad times. You pro please give us handouts. For instance, you can hardly find a legislator without an ambulance, yet this is actually government responsibility. In any case, if it is about an ambulance, well, if you manage to buy an ambulance and you give it to your community, it is good. It is a service. It is something you do out of will and out of cap capability. If you really can, you can give it, but it's not your primary responsibility. You will meet the fuel for that journey. You will meet the cost of fuel if the patient is in Murago. But unfortunately, our people are poor. So this ambulance takes the dead. It takes pregnant women who are going to deliver. It takes sick people. It was the only transport authorized to move during COVID, during the lockdown. So many people are utilizing this ambulance pretending to be dying. Well, there is a lot of political bling bling. Everyone wants to be seen anywhere someone donates an ambulance. You tell the donor that, please, since you have donated that ambulance to the health center, can you please write only the name of the health center on that ambulance? And the guy, that person will tell you, please, let me go with my ambulance if you don't want to put my name, my name's all pictures on the ambulance. So the whole society is completely rotten. You can imagine you cannot give money to each individual in the district. So the issue of money and then people saying, oh, if you don't give us money, we won't vote you back, does not actually account. Because the people who have given a lot of money, who have spent billions of money, who have spent millions of money, and still, they are not voted. Now, some legislators believe that they are carrying a heavy burden that requires civic education for the public to fully understand each MP's responsibility. The government has to give services to the people regardless of the candidate, regardless of the person who is representing them. Whether I am national unity platform, the government should and must give people services because I am their representative. So the mandate of civic education lies in the hands of the electoral commission. However, this responsibility has largely been surrendered to civil society organizations. Jingo Francis, NTV.